Considered an innovator by his peers and a world-renowned expert in the field of washing and classifying, Frank Squires has long been a go-to leader on the equipment and technology front within the aggregate industry. After graduating from Des Moines Technical High School in 1957, Squires embarked on a career in the industry as a draftsman with Eagle Ironworks, where he drew up washing equipment. After a stint of technical work, Squires took on a role as a salesman in the latter stages of his 16 years with Eagle Ironworks. He grew into the position at a very exciting time for aggregates, as road building and construction were taking off considerably. By 1971, Squires was fully dedicated to sales at Eagle Ironworks, engaging with customers like Martin Marietta and Lux Stone while traveling throughout the northeastern United States and Canada. Over the years, Squires earned five patents on washing and classifying technologies. His developments aided in the efficiency and effectiveness of processes. Included in his work is an automated system for classifying tanks in sand and gravel washing. Squires also helped to develop a dewatering screen that was an addition to the dewatering screw, a development that provided a critical solution to reduce water in stockpiles. Ultimately, his straightforward style of analyzing aggregate processing operations led to more than four decades of washing and classifying applications, engineering and sales solutions. Over a number of years, Squires was also a key player in the success at Greystone, which he served as sales manager and later as vice president of sales and dealer relations until 2014. A 61-year industry veteran who now serves superior industries as aggregate specialist for the company's washing and classifying division. Squires experiences his greatest joys when helping others and solving technical problems. Considered a mentor, Squires' peers describe him as friendly, optimistic, and always exhibiting a positive attitude. To Squires, the aggregate industry continues to offer him something new to learn every day. As he nears retirement, it's clear that his legacy in the industry will be long-lasting. Thank you all for coming. I can't in my humblest words convey to you how surprised and, yes, shocked, when I received the call from Pitt and Quarry informing me that my colleagues in the industry had nominated me for the PNQ 2018 Hall of Fame class. Thanks to Pitt and Quarry for hosting and arranging this event, which I'm sure all of us will certainly agree has been most gracious and, hold, and holding this celebration during and as part of the NSSGA annual meeting and the Ag One Equipment Show. I wish to also give thanks to my employer, Superior Industries. It is an honor to be joining the distinguished members of the previous classes and a special honor to join Neil Schmigdahl, the founder of Superior Industries from the class of 2015. This induction into the Hall of Fame has brought back many memories of the aggregate industry, which has been my life ever since graduating from high school in 1957. I landed my first job as a draftsman with Eagle Ironworks, whose vast majority of business came from the aggregate industry. Eagle, as they were called, were a very strong supporter of the National Aggregates Association, National Stone Association, and the National Limestone Institute. These three organizations have, of course, merged into the National Stone Sand and Gravel Association that we know today. I was privileged to serve all these associations on their manufacturing and services divisions boards over the last 61 years. Some of my colleagues are sitting out there tonight. These past 61 years have been an exciting time to be an American, especially being associated with the aggregate business. Returning to my beginnings, 1957, the building boom was in full swing the Eisenhower interstate system had begun. Nuclear plants were all the rage. The dams were under construction. 
longer bridges such as the Veresno Narrows Bridge in New York, skyscrapers like the World Trade Center Twin Towers in 1973, they were all headed for the heavens. Ever stronger concrete mixes were needed for these. And with some projects, a high performance concrete, such as my fellow inductee, William Sandbrook, from US Concrete provides. To supply stronger concrete, tighter specifications for the aggregates were needed. In the early 60s, Eagle introduced a revolutionary sand classifier with a patented control system. With this invention, it gave me the opportunity to be out in the field into the quarries, sand and gravel pits, making gradation analysis of materials, recommending equipment, and assisting customers like Lux Stone and Martin Marietta and many, many others out there in the audience to meet these tougher gradation specifications. Then, in the early 1980s, the computer age began. A colleague of mine at Eagle was an electrical engineer, and his dream was to apply the computer to the classifying tanks. Does Radio Shack TRS-80 and the floppy disk ring a bell with anybody here? <laughs> well, Although it is quite primitive today, that is the programming language which operated the first computer control classifying tank on the marketplace. Evil's, Eagle's <laughs> revolutionary original classifying control was awarded a patent extension for this new computer control. I will have to admit that the computer control classifier has driven me with a desire to improve its capabilities to control sand products. I feel very fortunate to have been able to carry this dream from Eagle to Greystone and now Superior. Because of the way our Lord created the world, the need for washing aggregates has not really changed much in 61 years in the industry. It probably will not change much in the near future. To quote an old phrase, the aggregate business had been my bread and butter all these years. In conclusion, I wish to thank my wife, Joyce, with whom we will <coughs> celebrate <coughs> excuse me, 60 years of marriage in December. Early in our marriage, Joyce introduced me to our Lord Jesus Christ. Together we have raised four children, all are university graduates, successful in their fields, and six grandchildren. And within the last month, we learned our first great-grandchild is on the way. I have had a great life in the good old USA. Many people have asked me, when am I going to retire? I like to answer what Rose Marie, remember her, by the way, of the old Dick Van Dyke show? She recently died, and she had a quote. I've been in show business all my life. Why start something new now? Again, thanks to everyone for this fantastic honor and enjoy the Ag One show. Thank you. <laughs>